My Academia, Season 7, Episode 19. Mom, sis, stay close. I can't even imagine being the Todoroki family and watching what's going on. How did things go so wrong? We trusted them to protect us in this. Channel swashbuckling channeling channel of daring daring do. Suddenly insecure about my channel name. I wonder how you thumbnail this video. The title is a little bit more obvious. You have to put the word original in it. Because otherwise the, the video will be drowned out by scum of the earth reactors. Shigaraki has every advantage, physically at least. Anyway, just thinking about the Todorokis, especially mom, there's almost no even conceptual good outcome watching tragedy unfold before your eyes. I mean, if they can somehow manage to save Toya, I hope they do. Sabotage. We've got a mole underground. All oh, right, these two. To follow skeptics' orders for the time being, but we lost contact with him. Where is ne Nezu? <laughs> I can't let it go. I can't let it go. Before the day's over. The world will belong to the demon lord. And yeah, I'm sure he'll thank you adequately. He'll love you. Just like he loves all his henchmen. I've got it! Oh, nice. This is perfect for Tetsu Tetsu. The god can say, is he stupid or does he have a death wish? Just like they have before. But even knowing that... You'll get yourself killed! Stop, you idiot! Man, we're just, we're digging deep. We're digging deep. He's concentrating it, storing it up inside of his body. At this rate, in about 10 minutes, or maybe even sooner. He's gonna self-destruct. That area includes the evac route that connects UA in the east and Shiketsu in the west. Is that a part of Dabi's plan? No. How could he have known that? At this point, it doesn't really seem like Dobby would be thinking about a greater plan. There's no future for him. At least I think that's how he would be looking at it. It's just about closing his arc with his father. This is a very strange thought, but I can sort of feel how Dobby in this situation would feel elated. There's something really freeing and pleasant about giving up, especially if you've been under a really painful weight for a long time. It's hard to bring someone back from that. Dobby, it would take a lot. I mean, it's in there. The stop is in the explosion zone, but we can still save the rest of them. Well, well maybe he knows his family's here. That would explain it. If the two demon lords end up in the same place, that's the end. We're dead. Maybe. It's not as bad as it can be, it's not as good as it can be. I mean, I, let's not try it, <laughs> but I don't know. It would be interesting to see Shigaraki versus All for One directly. I don't think they're allies anymore. More and more, it feels like All for One's fatal flaw and his undoing will be underestimating his puppets of who people are and what they're capable of. Speaking of letting go, I actually think there's an emotional reckoning coming for him. I don't know if this is fully substantiated by the last episode, but watching that Mineta moment again, he hears Jiro's words for the second time and he makes a line about how like the weak like to bark, but it almost feels like reaction formation. Like the thought is creeping up, like maybe there actually is something that I'm missing. How is it the little purple ball dude has the strength to stand up against the demon lord right after headphone girl had the courage to stand up to demon lord what is happening maybe there's something here that i'm missing it felt to me like the first spark of, of a new idea creeping up that would like destroy him if it was allowed to flourish and so his reaction is like i better get the hell out of here i can outfly my feelings even if we did have some heroes in fighting shape none of them are close enough what makes you think they need to be in fighting shape Suguchi. I'm still half expecting all- Was it All Might? Like, if it gets that bad, All Might's gonna show up. Because it's not the power, it's not the quirk, it's the person. And that's who All Might is. And I would never bet against All Might either. You haven't recovered from Phosphor yet, Todoroki! I already told you not to worry about me. We have to focus on making sure All For One doesn't get to Midoriya. We can do both. If I can move, then I can fight. That's what I was just saying, yeah. I have to do everything I can. We know you are. You've been so kind to me. You made me remember what kind of hero I want to become. It's not fair that someone like you has to suffer. There's something that my friend said a long time ago that stuck with me. I don't know why this is popping to mind right now. And I might be conflating things a little bit, but I think the event that triggered this was, this is going to sound made up, but it's not. Some students from our neighboring school started picking on a girl that we knew. And so my friend stepped in alone to confront three of them about it and ended up getting punched in the face. Talking about it afterwards, I was like worried about his psyche, you know, because it's not fun to get punched in the face. Anyway, whether it was that event or not, he said to me that if there's a difficult situation and somebody has to suffer, he wants it to be him because he knows he can handle it. He knows that he has the disposition and the outlook and the character to not be overcome by it, to not let it damage his spirit and to like just eat it healthily. Whereas he can't be sure of that for other people. So if someone has to take a blow, he's happy that it's him, which I think is a really beautiful sentiment with caveats. I mean, like one, it's really important to be honest. You actually have to be able to stomach it. Relatedly, no one wants you to suffer alone silently for them if they care about you. It's also wasteful that the pain and damage could have been avoided had you let other people share the burden with you, yet felt too unworthy to ask. But the heart behind that, the 
concept behind it. It's something I, I really love and it stuck with me. And that applies to Ida and that applies to Deku. You know, that's what makes them so strong individually and also way stronger as a unit. They're all doing that together. So to Ida's, it's not fair that you have to suffer. I mean, yeah, I think the way Todoroki would feel about this is that he's glad that it's him. Yeah, it sucks. And yet Todoroki will be okay. Is that you, All Might? There's no time. I'll have to keep this short and sweet. I'm suddenly feeling really... I just gotta chill up my spine. Young Ida, you know how to run, don't you? Ida's been waiting for a roll. He was kept up by the fire. Rookie. The body and mind work together. You understand that more than anyone given what you've been through. Hold on a second. Yeah, hold on a second. You can't fight with any doubt in your heart. It could mean your defeat. You Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm proud of you for still choosing to charge into battle. Follow your heart. Don't talk like it's a last speech. Engine. Just full faith in them. He really, really just loves them. We'll never make it in time. <laughs> the rain's done a fine job of cooling me down. This is what I was born to do. Born to run. The reason I have this quirk is to help lost children find their way home. Look who it is. Selfless and bold. That's such a full circle moment too. <laughs> wow, they have their history. Feels like it's been so long since I've seen Ida. Maskless and all. <laughs> I'll leave Dobby to you. It's full faith. And now, this is real love. Have you lost your damn mind? Yeah, just, this is who he is. Trust me. In all my we trust. Oh. You won't be able to pass me by. There's no way you can stop him. You're quirkless. Is it possible Damn. to become a hero even if I don't have a quirk? God, that was such a pointed question back then too. All Might is never someone to say something with an empty heart. It's so amazing that Deku has become All Might and All Might has become Deku. But they're one and the same in the way that really matters. I don't even want to watch this. In a way, I sort of don't even need to. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's already enough. And he's not powerless. He has his suitcase and his bento. You can't ignore me. Oh yeah, how could you? Why? Because of Oh, he's become Batman. Here! Oh, I am here. Wow. And no one heard him say that either. He knows. I repeat, do not look at Dobby. Do you? Yeah, there she is. Heartbreaking. Endeavor's eye, he's going all the way. It's riding this one out to the end. The fight's taken too much out of me. This is My do or die. Giving out. I'm not going to be able he doesn't to even have a body anymore. He's just fire. He's just a torso. Look at me. Yeah, we see you. We see you. He's still the same kid. I think maybe I don't know. Maybe the way is not firepower. I don't think you can beat it, beat him in firepower. I won't watch you die. Let's go. Let's play. It's also it's so sick. It's so sick that like that's Dobby's goal. I'm gonna take pleasure in watching my father watch me destroy myself. There's that idea of cutting off the nose to spite the face. Dobby is the person who cuts off the nose and feels great about it, looking for other things to cut. It's wild. For so long. He's actually getting burned. If the end seems certain, you have no reason to hold anything back. He's given up now. There it is. I'm responsible for all of this. To a point. But that's the maximal way to look at it. I mean, that's the most heroic viewpoint, depending on what you do with it. You were there, watching me the entire time, weren't you? It's not making it easy. To move on, back at but also it's what it ever needs. Person that I wronged so appallingly. Yeah, look at it. I won't let you die alone, son. I've got you. No one else will be burned. Hundred sacrifice. All in. Dead. This is the third time Endeavor's going up, preparing for an explosion that will potentially annihilate him, if I'm remembering correctly. The first, I think, was the Nomu. Then, I mean, today, a couple hours ago, or maybe minutes ago, with All for One, and now Davi. But this time is very different. This is not him exploding. It's not his final attack. In fact, he's not even fighting. This is just him hugging his son. It's beautiful in just so many ways. I mean, for someone who was obsessed his entire life with just optimal power, being the strongest, to decide to just let that go, and that now the furthest thing from his mind, to be here now in the situation where, like, he just loves his son, he feels more powerful, 
than than ever. It's perfect, I think, that this is happening alongside All Might returning to the battle. You know, having chased All Might his whole life along that very line of thinking, you know, the power line of thinking. Here they both are dealing with ghosts of their pasts without even having their powers. Endeavor's finally caught up, but like it also no longer matters. I am here, I guess, has two meanings in that sense. One, the classic All Might, I am here, but also I'm here for you, my son. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Yeah, she couldn't wait around. I wouldn't want to wait around either. This is also really important for Ray, I think. I mean, obviously Endeavor was the driver, but Ray definitely has regrets. Are you trying to cool him down? What? And you too. Frostquark won't keep you safe from his fire forever. No, Ray! Get back! He'll burn you to death! You plan to die with him, don't you? It's weird. I I keep thinking this about Endeavor. Like I said, this is the third time. It's very roundabout. But like, he keeps trying to kill himself. As if it's the only way he can repay his debt. I mean, it's tricky because it's also so heroic. Like, this might be the only way he can save people from Dobby. But thematically, it feels like there's just something missing. One of the difficulties for Endeavor is just like the, the sheer weight of the things he's done in his history. Dobby is just one. Obviously, it's a big one. It's the glaring threat right now. But it's also his wife. It's his other children. It's Shoto. I feel like Rei here, she's coming to the rescue of her son. There's a part of it that also is her rescuing or trying to rescue Endeavor. No, no. My boy. He's still in there. So they, they couldn't sit around. Yeah, they couldn't just watch. I like felt that so potently in that opening shot. Kill me, but not them. Is there anything? Is there anything in there? Yeah. Shoto, Shoto, Shoto. Shoto and Ida. The temperature in the core isn't rising as fast anymore. I'll okay, alright. Oof. <laughs> a little bit of a fake out there. He's going to explode. If only there was one more Todoroki that could show up. You'll get caught up in the blast! Hurry! No, but we gotta have our girl talk. Same, honestly. Nobody's gonna get hurt. This gives us so much faith, I love it. Is here. It's a new generation of fans. And also the new generation of heroes. He's constantly producing ice to reduce resistance, and forming a layer of hot air to eliminate friction. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh my new, he knows his kids. You must be one incredible teacher. Yeah, he's the best. This is as far as I can take you. It's far enough. Thank you, Ida. Take it from here. That's gonna hurt in the morning. That was a remar <laughs> remarkably like soft and healthy landing, considering the the speed of that. It's so cool to think about how my conception has changed. Ida never really seemed like a threat. It's like okay, I can go real fast, but that in a big way I think is sort of the old way of looking at things, which has totally changed. Not to say the powers aren't important; they're they're very important for affecting the outcome. But in terms of like the personal power, it's the emotional stands they're making, who they become as people. If Ida's only <laughs> purpose was to go real fast to get Todoroki here to save his family, there's no like measuring it to compare. It, like there's nothing bigger than that. Certain things that are really valuable. They have a level of completeness that defies any sort of value ranking. It's like an infinite thing. This is Ida being infinitely good. Good plus ultra. It's because of you that I'm becoming the man I want to be. Today, make sure you're doing the same. It's beautiful. There are times when we clash. The strange thing is, butting heads makes us understand each other better. <laughs> well, those are great kids. I've watched my friends get mad and cry, not for themselves, but for the sake of others. That's how I want to be too. Such an interconnected connected web here. I mean, when this show started, Ray was in the hospital. This is the best episode of Keeping Up with the Total Rookies yet. If only I'd been able to face them earlier. There's still things I want to argue with them about. Stuff I want to say. It's not too late. Great Glacial! Oh, yeah! Wow, just completely annihilated it. <laughs> Honestly, same. His firepower was much hotter than it was before. Shoto. And he used both elements of his mother and father. I mean, it was all of them. If the Total Rings can end the show, a united family, there's no excuse for anyone else. <laughs> Scumbag dad drop dead. Me too. Everyone just die already. That's different. That's pain. That's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. That's catching up to you. I should have gone to Sakoto Peak. 
It's so sad because it's so simple, and I mean, who can't understand that in some extent? I'm sorry I neglected you all these years. <laughs> I'm choked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think he even needs it. God, it's pretty clear. I mean, I think we get it. I never needed to say it. I think that was the important thing. Such an interesting framing of that episode. Like I mentioned earlier, it's called I Am Here and All Might. Seems like he's gonna make a stand, which I don't know how I'm gonna wait a week for that. Though I also am glad I don't have to watch it right away. Part of me never wants to watch it. I wanna let it live as potential forever. But like the person who was here in this episode really was Endeavor. I mean, he's finally here for his family. He sees them and he sees himself. It's a chain. We can clearly trace what happened from Endeavor to Dobby. What we've seen less of, but you can also trace is Endeavor's childhood trauma to the person he became. It's like a, a long sequence of like hurt, imperfect humans. Things I think that everyone can understand no matter what scale it's at. No matter what shape it takes, whether it's a hero show or not, you know, as a kid, you're being accepted, being listened to, having the approval of like the giants that are your parents or caretakers is everything. It's the world. And like, it's so easy in that fragile, hypersensitive childhood state to have it feel like your world is collapsing around rebukes or a feeling that your providers are, are emotionally absent. And those things run so deep. It can take a lifetime to unravel them. I mean, even if they get unraveled, I think that's a big part of the individual journey. I think that's why it's so just immediately understandable and resonant to watch characters, all the characters struggle with this. We focus a lot on pain of life, things that we inherit. And I think it's really important to acknowledge that and to allow that to be a, a humanizing force in looking at other people. Like they're not just born terrible, evil people. There's a history here. But the other side of that is something like waking up to your role in it and your responsibility in it, not letting that suffocate you, not being dictated by just like the this, this stream of time and cause and effect any more than you have to be. Like I was saying earlier, handle it, wrap your mind around the inputs, reaching out for support as necessary. You don't have to do it alone. You don't have to like destroy yourself and take on more than you can at any given time. To the best of your ability, not let those early experiences determine the extent of what you have to offer. And in doing so, you then create a gift, like you alter the flow a little bit. That I think in this family kind of stems from Todoroki. You know, he made a decision. It's your quirk, not his, is like very key. It's me, it's my life. My flame is not just an extension of my father. I get to choose what I am, what I do with it. That thing, let's do all this, that one decision, that one conceptualization of like his role. And one by one, his family picks up the mantle leading to like one of the best redemption arcs I've ever seen, if not the best. To go from where Endeavor was, like how detestable of a person he was at the beginning of the show, to this, you know, crying and apologizing to his family and see how much he loves them and cares for them and is dedicated to a future with them. Having given up these false leads, his entire conceptualization of what mattered. It's stunning. This was definitely an episode of My Hair Academia. God, just like, nothing has even happened yet. Just All Might, <laughs> like, showing up, essentially quirkless, with a briefcase, ready to take on the most powerful version of All for One yet. Also, I love how, like, All for One, just, there's no way he could possibly ignore All Might. Ida reaching his ultimate form as, like, a thank you to Todoroki, who's done so much for him. And then, man, that reunion from everyone. And somebody like Dobby could have a chance. I think this is the first. I think this is the first. I think Shigaraki's next. It's giving me hope. You know, I don't even think it's impossible. Possible for all for one. That would truly be like saving the lost plus ultra.